So you've got a pen company and the pen company does market research. And when you do the market research, you identify two groups of people who are interested in buying pens. And one is students and the other is executives. And after doing this research, you decide to manufacture two lines of different pens. Now this is called market segmentation. So when it comes to the student pens, you decide to produce a line of pens that uh, is reliable, but at an affordable price and quite durable. The, they have a design that is quite youthful, it's quite vibrant, and it's there to appeal to students. Pens are designed to withstand everything that a student needs to do, uh, taking lots and lots of notes in lectures and in the library and doing exams and so on. And they, you decide to market the pen by partnering with educational in institutions and offering student discounts. Now your company produces a very different line of pens for the executives. These pens are of a higher price They've got a more premium price, a more upmarket price. They're made of a higher quality materials and they're designed to make a statement and to have some kind of status. They have style, they're sophisticated and the pens are marketed by collaborating with luxury brands and targeting executives who want to make a strong impression in their professional lives. So this is exactly what market segmentation is. It's a matter of looking at the whole and then dividing that whole into different parts. You look at the whole market and then subdivide it into smaller segments. Just like you do with a cake, you take the whole cake and then you take off segments from the cake. And by looking at the different segments and targeting the different segments, this allows your company to target different, different groups with different messaging and with different positioning. This targeting will allow you to gain a larger market share and to increase your, your brand presence, your brand loyalty, and to increase your sales. So before we look at the process of segmentation, let's look at some vocabulary connected with segmentation. So first of all, of course, we've got market segmentation. And market segmentation is the process of dividing the market into smaller segments and these segments are based on certain characteristics or certain criteria. And then we come on to target market and we can say here that target market is that specific segment that your company decides to focus its marketing efforts on. Demographic are stati statistical characteristics of the population. These would include things like age, gender, income, education, family size, and, it, and so on. Then we come on to psychographics, which are sometimes called VALS for short. And VALS is to do with values, attitudes, and lifestyle. We could see as an example here, maybe a move, uh, many more people today are choosing to buy vegan and vegetarian products and they have certain values connected with this and they have certain attitudes to the market, they have a certain lifestyle and they choose these kind of products. Then we have behavioral segmentation and this is based on really the behavior of consumers. So the patterns in which they buy products, the way that they use the products and how often they use the products, uh, the loyalty they have to certain brands and products. And geographic segmentation is to do with location, uh, differences in climate, in culture, and in the density of the population. Then when I was describing your pen company to you, then I mentioned the word positioning. And positioning is a term in marketing, and it's all to do with image and perception. So a company makes its products or its services different. It differentiates the product and it differentiates the products in the minds of the consumer. And these differentiations occur within particular market segments. And for example, here we've got a Rolex watch. This is definitely in premium pricing, a luxury brand, and it creates a distinct 
image or perception in the mind of the consumer. So the next question we have to ask ourselves is, well, what's the purpose of market segmentation? Why do companies do market segmentation? So this process of market segmentation, taking the whole and dividing it into smaller segments, allows a company to identify these target markets. And by identifying these target markets, it helps them to better allocate the resources that they've got, uh, to increase customer satisfaction, and to make the best use of the, their marketing efforts in the company. By identifying and targeting these markets, it allows them to uh, target the, the profitable sections of the market or the most profitable segments for, for this particular company. It builds up customer relationships and it gains a competitive edge for the company. So in the process, your company does market research. And as we've seen then, it divides the market up. It looks at these different segments. And as we've seen, in the vocabulary section, there are different types of segmentation. You can look at demographic factors, things like gender and age. You can look at geography, things like culture and climate. You can look at behavior, the way that people buy the product or their loyalty towards a certain product. And you can look at their values and their attitudes and their lifestyle. Once you divide the market by using these different segments, then you need to choose as we've seen in the example with the two pens, they chose two different segments, students and, se and executives. Then you need to look at these uh, segments and see how they meet with your company's capabilities and your goals and objectives. And you need to look at the different segments and assess them in terms of you know, how big the segment is, uh, what's the growth potential of the comp of this of the segment? What's the accessibility of the segment, and does it fit with your company's uh, resources and its company and the company's uh, capabilities? And then what the company will come to positioning and marketing mix. So when it comes to positioning, your company will develop positioning strategies to put this certain image into the minds of the consumers that you're targeting. Then the marketing mix, product, price, place, promotion, will be developed in order to meet the needs and the wants of the consumers in this particular segment. And then we come to the final point. And the final point is about continuous assessment. When a company does market segmentation, it really shouldn't be a one-time activity. A company should continually assess and evaluate whether the segmentation strategy that it's developed and adopted is really uh, it, that it's still relevant and it's still responding to the needs and the wants of the market. And it's important continually to look at market dynamics. So let, market dynamics, what are market dynamics? Well, market dynamics are forces and factors that influence the behavior of the market. These include things like economic conditions, uh, competition, the trends in the industry, and changing consumer preferences. So that was it for this video. We've looked at market segmentation. We've looked at what it is, how it works, and why companies use it. And we've also looked at the vocabulary that you need in order to discuss market segmentation. Please check out my other videos on marketing and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for listening. Bye.